Okay, area of parallelograms. Um, for this, I'm just going to um, refer you to the BBC website, bbc.co.uk, and I'll just show you this page. It's a really, really good one. Um, you'll see they've drawn a parallelogram, uh, and uh, on the parallel, they've marked at the bottom, they've marked the base of the parallelogram, and um, they've also marked the perpendicular height, um, as you do with um, triangles. Um, and the way they've marked the height has created a triangle on the left, um, and we're going to do something with that triangle to illustrate how and why you find the area of parallelogram. Um, so um, let's take that triangle on the left and move it across to the right. And in doing so, what you do is you create a rectangle um, whose length and breadth is the same as the base and the height of this parallelogram. Uh, and we know how to find the we know how to find the area of a rectangle, don't we? We do length times breadth. Okay, so uh, the area of this parallel parallelogram will be equal to um, the length and breadth of a rectangle with the same base and height. So the area of a parallelogram is found very simply by multiplying the base of the parallelogram by the perpendicular height. Base times perpendicular height. That's all there is to it. Um, just very quickly, let's work through a couple of examples. Here's a parallelogram I've already drawn. Um, it has a two sides, um, 12 metres and 5 metres. We know about a parallelogram, don't we, that it has two pairs of equal sides. So the bottom here is 12 metres, the top is also, and the two diagonals are 5 metres in length as well. Oops, that should be too difficult to show the difference with the top. Um, but this 5 is not the dimension I want here, because I've got the base here and my height given over on the left. That's my perpendicular height, because it's, it's the height measured on a perpendicular line, a line drawn at right angles to the base. And that's the true height of this shape. So the area of this particular um, parallelogram is to be found by the base times the perpendicular height. And the base is 12, and the height is 4. 12, 40, 48, 48 meters squared. It's the base times the perpendicular height, the perpendicular height. That's how you find the area of a parallelogram, and for that matter, the area of a rhombus also.